Let me ask you about another dope boy. Chapo? Yes. Yes, El Chapo. He was recaptured after his second prison escape. What was your reaction to that when you heard he had gotten recaptured recently? I could, you know, Chapo, Chapo, you know what I'm saying? I love Chapo, you know what I'm saying? Something about him with Chapo, you know. I guess he got every man weakness, every big guy weakness is women. And that was probably his reason of getting captured. Women didn't want to have fun. But you know, Chapo, you know, I guess, you know, when she, they say the older older you get, the weaker your heart gets. So, you know what I'm saying? It's just, you know, I don't, I, don't, I, I really didn't think he was going to get caught that time, but he just, you know, he was trying to do extra stuff, man. They got him caught, man. But, you know, he was really a genius, man, of the, the things he was doing or how he was getting over here into this country by doing the, uh, the, the super tunnels and, and stuff, man. He was a real genius, man. They say, he, he said he was spending easy a million dollars a bet on each tunnel, but they say one uh one load will cover that every time. So you know what I'm saying? It didn't even matter. Now, did it surprise you? While he was on the run, he still managed to do an interview with Rolling Stone, and they said he was working on a biopic of himself. That's why he got caught. You know what I'm saying? He, he was, you know, when you get to that point when you think you uh. You know, bigger than God, you know what I'm saying, untouchable, and you just think you got it. But you got to think about it. You know, when you be number one, you got a lot of people in the wind everywhere that want that same title. They want to be number one also. So, you know, I was like that once upon a time when, in the, when I was in the dope game when I was, uh, you know what I'm saying, 19. That's when I first got my real great start. That's when I first seen my first 100000 By 21, I seen my first million dollars. But I never ever seen over 1.3 in a dope game. I guess I got so comfortable, but I had the big head at one time, and uh, I treated uh, women so bad, and um, I treated friends like they was they was the number one family. But I like lost everything I had the year 2001. I went from being a million dollar street dude to 900 dollars. But that showed me where all these hundred dudes I thought was my friends, all these six girls. I thought with well, my girl, everybody faded. And it's like, God stripped me everything for a reason, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I came, when I came back, I respected life and I, uh, I treated everybody with respect, man. You know, I respect goes a long way.